Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tuesday, June 5th, 2012, and I'm going to start a new series, monthly, about the best video cards for your money at a $100 price point from $100, $200, $300, up to $500 every $100. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to leave about 20-ish bucks in between, and I'm never going to put video cards in here that are the price that I say with rebates. These are the standard prices that they're selling at. Some of these might be out of stock, but like the NVIDIA ones, the high-end ones, um, constantly going out of stock. I had a friend who um, was buying a, a GTX 670. It's just like a nightmare trying to find one of those things that's not stock. That's not like stock from like Vision Tech. Um, which I don't, I don't like to buy from them, but they're fine. They just don't have a lot of extras. This is also a, not about extras. It's just about pure performance that will work for your money. If you want, like, I'm not including stuff like Physics in here because I don't really feel that Physics is that big of a deal. But if you want Physics support, buy an Nvidia card. Like I actually play Just Cause 2, and it technically uses Physics. I get better frames per second than like a. Um, uh, two four eighties, which would have been like same ish, a little bit better performance than my five seventy, and so I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Um, and so let's jump right off the bat and get into it. So here we have our first video card it is the Asus uh, Radeon HD seven seven fifty. So I love the seven seven fifties. I think they're a great deal. It's from Asus. They have a custom cooler on there, which can be dual slot if you want. It can also be single slot, but it's it's got the height of a um, not the height, whatever angle that is, of a dual slot card. So just be aware that if, that, if you're in a really cramped um, case, it comes with Dirt Showdown, which I don't really. I mean, that's just an extra. When you get down to it, no matter how many game, free games come with your video card. It's what performance matters, because in three years, whether you're going to upgrade or not is not dependent on what game came with your video card. But I mean, that's still nice. It's not the reason I bought it, because just every 7750 comes with your showdown. Uh, I can play mo most games 1080p, high-medium settings, except like Battlefield, where you it can actually get like 60 frames per second. Battlefield, low preset, like 2x anti -aliasing. Uh It comes pre-overclocked a little bit, 20 megahertz on the core clock. It's got one gig of GDDR5, and it's only 110 bucks. There's one, there's a Sapphire one for that's on rebate for 99 bucks. So if you want to go a little cheaper, Sapphire is still a great company. So here at the $200 price point, we have the MSI N560 GTX Ti. So this is a um, 560 Ti, if you can tell that from the title. It's faster than a Radeon um, 6870. It's also in between, like... If you have more money, a 7850 is a step up, but this is 50, 60 bucks cheaper, so if it's the price point. It has a custom cooler from MSI, which is nice. Comes pre overclocked. I already mentioned the dual fan cooler. Has free NBA 2K, whatever. Um, and it's $209 without a rebate. They currently have a rebate for $200. 300 bucks. We have the Vision Tech. Radeon HD 7870 GHz edition. So this has one, uh, I had a typo here, um, 1280 stream processors, 2 gigs of, you know, ultra fast DDR5 memory, cheap performance for what you get. I know people have been railing against the 79000 series for like, oh, the Nvidia cards are better, and they are, but Nvidia doesn't have mid to mid-high range cards out yet. Their cheapest card that's really going to give you GK, what is it, 108, 107 performance is a 6070. I know the 60, the 640 came out today, but that's like a GT low end, and the um, 7750 will beat the crap out of that thing. And it costs the same. So that's why I didn't recommend it. And it's um, pretty power friendly, so great buy. If you want to pay a little more, there are ones that have, like, XFX, um, I know has their, uh, double dissipation versions, double D, e, and, um, I mean, those are always great. Next, we have a Gigabyte GVN670OC2GD. 
This is $400. It comes pre overclocked as a three fan cooler, which I, I like those. I um, was going to buy my friend who bought the 670, a uh, 680 that was um, that's actually on this list, but it went out of stock like within 15 minutes I was trying to buy it. So, man, you know it's a good product when it sells fast. It has two gigs of GDDR5 at a. It's got 256 bit bus, which the ND cards for this price have a 384 bit, I think would be the next step up, because they. Yeah, yeah, it would be. But it's clocked at an insane fast 6 gigahertz. I don't know what the effective is, but um, it's still like. It still keeps up with the speed of that, so don't worry. And it'll be crazy fast for, fast for any game out there. It'll max out Battlefield 1080p easy. Next, we have the highest end I'm going to go on this list because I feel $500 and up is going to be like people who buy these because they have tons of money to piss away and they want to say, look, I can get like X8000 on um, 3D Mark 11. And I don't really care about that. I care about if it can play my game smooth to 1080p. So this is a Gigabyte GVN60OC2DG. It's $524. It comes pre overclocked again with the same great three fan cooler. It's only twenty five bucks more in stock, which is the cheapest one with an aftermarket heat sink, which I love those even though my um, my card does not. I've been consider considering buying the Arctic Cooling um seventy nine seventy one because um those are gonna go out of stock soon because my card's being f is has been phased out, that's why I got it. I got it Black Friday for like three hundred bucks. But um on New Egg uh, New Egg. Um so this and the 670 are on back order, so expect to wait a, a little while and kind of be a vigilante with your email to see when these come on sale. So other than that, if you really want to go high end, I have to recommend um, buying the 690. I don't have a picture of it. It looks fantastic though. I mean, it's got a window, which is pretty nice. Um, maybe I'll have a link in the description. I don't know. I'm too lazy to put it in the video. Um, Beyond that, you're not going to really see any performance gains that are worth doubling your money. But if you really are interested in like a Radeon dual GPU card, I have my video about the um, 7970X2 slash 79990. God, I hate it like when they put so many. I think I had an extra 9 in there. I hate it when they do like the 9999999 because then I like stumble on the 9s. Um, I'll put a video, a link to that video in the description. So, have a nice day, and I hope you enjoyed this video.